create a new project as always. Delete the cube and the light, add a sphere, go to this option tab and reduce the resolution to 12 segments and 6 wings. Increase the dimension to the real world scale divided by 1000, 12742 meters. Switch to your view tab, increase the clip start to yeah, like 10 and the end to something around 500,000 so we can see our sphere again. Also do the same with your scene camera and change the focal length to 100. Switch to cycles, GPU and experimental at subdivision surface and enable adaptive subdivision. Correct the dimensions again and apply the scale. Duplicate our sphere, rename it to clouds and increase the dimension of the clouds by 15. Duplicate it again, name it atmosphere, increase the dimension by 100 of our earth scale. Select everything and apply the scale again and we can add the materials to our earth but credits for the earth itself goes to this guy you all know him so that's why i will just show very short how i created the earth you just need to download these four textures from the another website or any other website that they are sharing the textures from our earth first the color texture set the color space to srbg and the other three to non-color data. Then we have a uh, night lights. Yeah, basically a displacement map and a specularity map. The color into the base color. Add sunlight. Turn up the strength to five. Then add the hue saturation value node. Put the specularity color into the factor and turn down the saturation to zero. So the ocean is now without any color data. Also put the color of the specularity map into the roughness node and we need to invert it. So we need a map range node and switch the minimum to 1 and the maximum to 0.1. Connect the night lights to the emission strength and the black body node to the color and set it to 3500. Then we need a texture coordinate, a normal node and again a map range node and a math node set to multiply. In the texture coordinate, pick the sun as object data and set the from min value to minus 0 0.05, the max value to minus 0 0.15. And now you just have light on the night side and however you turn your, your sun, it will follow along. Then we just need our displacement map. So we need to add a displacement node, put the color into the height, decrease the mid level to zero and increase the scale to 100 or not 100, it's too much, to 50. We have real geometry deforming our mesh to have mountain. Nope, we don't because I forgot to switch this to displacement and bump. Now we have real geometry. Turn on the clouds, create a new material, delete the principal BSDF, Search for texture coordinate node, mapping node, and drop in the earth cloud texture. Then we need a mix shader, again a displacement node, a transparent BSDF, and a subsurf scattering. Put the transparent BSDF to the to the first shader input of the mix shader and the subsurface scattering into the second one and the factor of the cloud texture to the factor of the mix shader. Now again, the mid level to zero and the scale to 50 again. And set the radius to one and the scale to 50. Okay, now we have clouds as well. So let's enable our atmosphere. Create a new material, delete the principal BSDF, add a volume node, set down the density to 0.005 and set the color to something like this. Now our ocean have a natural looking bluish tone, whatever. We need to create our wings. Just select one of the spheres, Shift D to duplicate and P to separate it. Then name it to something like Earth, wings, yes, caps for the win. And increase the dimension. Push it down a little bit, press E to extrude. Extrude our wing to a thickness of 1600 meter. Press E again and scale it down a little bit. 
And now we just need to add some detail to our wing. Okay, if you are done, make sure you bevel each edge. You want to stay like, like this sharp. If you have every edge selected, that should be stay sharp. Press Ctrl B and create three edges out of one. And now if you turn on the modifier, you can see the difference. Then select everything, go to UV, Smart UV Project, turn down the angle limit to zero and press OK. Shift D and rotate it 90 degrees. Now we need to just add the metal strips. For this we need a cube, 5 by 5 meters and I guess it was 1000 meter in the z-axis. Okay, position it like this, go to edit mode, duplicate it, increase the scale of the duplicated one, turn it 45 degrees to one side and duplicate it again and turn it 90 degrees to the other side. So you have an X. Select your cake tool, <laughs> the spin one. Turn it around 359 degrees and also the steps. So you have this, yes, jitter stuff of metal. And then do the same with the straight one. So you have something like this. Duplicate the first straight one again and turn it 90 degrees and scale it down on the Y axis so it fit exactly between these metal strips. Then select one side and do the same again. Select the wing and duplicate it to each of these points. Okay, now you have this and for this we need to create a very simple material. Turn down the roughness to 0 0.1 and increase the metallic to 1. Okay, and now we just need to create a material for our wing. And I found something pretty, pretty cool that's very easy to get a sci fi spaceship future, yeah, whatever. Found this guy. He's offering a displacement and geometry generator for Blender and it also has a free version and you can download it from this website. Just type in zero if you want to test it out or if you don't want to spend money. Click on buy, just type in your email address and press buy again and that's it. You bought it for, for nothing. Once you downloaded it, you will have a simple scene like this. Just click it. You have a shape gen option, a geometry gen option, gen means generator, and a dots gen option. And the, that's, the dots gen is for the lights, and the shape is just for the basic geometry shapes. And if you want to use real geometry, generated for you you can use the uh, geogen but we just need displacement and texture maps so we just need to click this uh, no this um, switch to the modifier tab and then you can change the seed the density the second layer densities and how much layers you want to create and also if you render it with materials or without just play with the values until you are happy and then press F12, it took 10 seconds and you are done. That's it. That's, for example, the color map. And if you want to create a displacement map, just turn off the render material, press F12 again, and GG. 10 seconds again, and you have a displacement map. Turn off the shape generator, turn on the dots generator, and do the same with the dots generator. I turned off the render material because I just wanted the data where the lights will shown and I will create my own um, yeah, light temperature. Same like the others, just press F12, save it and you can close the project, don't save. And now we can just import the color map, the displacement map and the light maps. First the color to the color and the light one to the emission, also mixed with the black body node, set it to the same value like 
the earth and then mix rbg node set it to multiply texture coordinate one mapping node for the color set up the scale to 10 duplicate this map put it to the lights and increase this to 100 or 50 okay and our displacement map should be connected with the mapping node from our color data search for displacement map put it to the height the mid level to zero and the scale to for example 20 or okay now we have this weird weird color so we will fix it with the hue saturation node plug it between the color and the bsdf turn down the saturation to 0 0.1 and the value to to this then we need a bright and contrast node for me this worked fine then increase the metallic to 0 0.5 and put this to the roughness the emission strength to 10 for the lights turn down the background strength to zero so we have a dark background if you don't want this reflecting sun effect you can decrease this value of the earth material to zero i guess it's more natural now we need to create this support pipes or whatever it is go to edit mode of the wings select one of these edges shift d to duplicate p and selection so we have it separated turn off the subdivision surface delete it and create yeah one of the support pipes or however you want to call it Okay, also if you are done, select some of these edges and hit Ctrl B to bevel it. Select all, go to UV, Smart UV Project and press OK. And duplicate it and we need a new color for this material too. Or not for this material, for this part of the wings. For this go to the material properties and press this little plus, create a new material and press assign. You can turn off the displacement node because we won't see it through this jitter metal stuff. Just delete it. And then you need just a mix RBG node, set it to multiply, plug in the black body to one of these colors and play with the values until you are happy. Yes, and then you just need to find the position you like and press render. I did this project twice, so um, these are the final results with some compositing. I hope you enjoyed the video. See you next time and bye bye.